McDermott is the snapper. And the kick is no good! Wow! Go figure. Oh, baby, yeah. <laughs> it's time to pray to the heavens, Michael. You're right. No good. Not even close. Let's look at these laces one more time. Jeff Locke, the holder, is going to try and put it down. And bingo, looking right back at the kicker. And I'm telling you, psychologically, sometimes that can get a kicker. But there's no way to practice making a three-foot putt. Has played. If, if Minnesota makes this field goal here now, you know, they get the 10-point lead. Had Atlanta on that fourth down kick the field goal, then this couldn't happen. And Anderson hasn't missed in two years. So that's a pretty good bet if you say, do you think Gary Anderson will make this field goal? The answer should probably be yes. 39 yards away. And it's not good. 207 left. The Falcons have one timeout. They have the ball as Anderson misses. Pulled it left. And Dan Reeves is happy with that one because he knows that he probably should have kicked the field goal last time down there. Well, that's it. That sets the stage for Norwood. A lot of pressure. You want to talk about a pressure situation. That is a long way to kick a football. The quiet man of this football team, Scott Norwood. He can fire the shot heard round the world now. Here we go with eight seconds to play. High drama here in the Super Bowl. Snap, spot, in the air. It's got the distance, it is. No good! Here comes Billy Cundiff to tie this game and in all likelihood send it to overtime. The last two years, 16 of 16 in the fourth quarter on field goals. 32 yards to tie it. And the kick, look out, look out. It's no good, it's no good. A hold by Cook, trying to spin it around. Did not quite get the laces all the way, but just a 32-yarder. And Cundiff, a Pro Bowl kicker a year ago. Wide left from 32. Well, the Ravens, a couple good plays at the end, Jim. You think they're going to run the draw, get the first down, use their timeout. They go for the quick score. Not able to make the catch. And the Patriots take the knee and will now take the journey to Indianapolis. For 45 for the win. Oh, it's not even close. It missed the net. And we will go to overtime. Wow. Don't even think it was blocked. The hole by Colquitt is there. He just shanked it. Don't cook it. That's a perfect goal. I bet he's never hit a ball that poorly since he's kicked. And then rumble into the end zone. But the extra point is blocked. This is Anthony. He's all alone. This is worth points. Two of them for the Saints as they add to their lead.
that is the first one ever. As the rule has been changed, blocked by Kevin Williams, and Anthony took it the other way for two points. And that's the first time we've seen it in the NFL. How about that? Kevin Williams, he gets up, is able to get a push, get his hand on the ball, and then just a perfect bounce. They had only two third down conversions last week. Murray's PAT is blocked and it is scooped and a chance for two for the Baltimore Ravens. And the stunning first quarter continues. Two on the board, that's how Baltimore gets its first two points. 62 yards on the return. Powers brings it all the way back. Tavon Young brings it back. He did. He gets back there and he blocks it. It's wide. Did he get a piece of it? Unbelievable. 38 yard attempt for the left hash. It is blocked. And on the recovery, it's Janoris Jenkins. And Jenkins will take it all the way for a Giants touchdown. Pressure on the inside, gets the kick blocked. Janoris Jenkins doing his job. Your edge rushers come in, you've got one guy designated to scoop and score. On that play, it was number 20, Janoris Jenkins. Let's see who gets the block inside. Well, looks like Jonathan Hankins pushes through, gets the block straight back. An easy scoop and score for Janoris Jenkins. One of those guards need to reach up with their hands and make some contact with him. 24 yard attack. Oh, he hits the upright. It's no good. How in the world? That's the reason. <laughs> I'm just telling you, it has been a nightmare. It has been a nightmare for this team. Here comes Wagner right over the top and some pressure off the side. Was that Sherman coming around the edge? He thinks he's won the game. Oh. Wow. Hmm. Ooh. Wow. Can't make this stuff up. Wagner up over the top. And he made contact again. It must have been incidental. John Ryan to hold. Oh. And he misses it. <laughs> That's impossible. Oh, my God. That is impossible. Uh, I'm telling you, there's something inside his brain about this building. Woo. Oh my goodness gracious. That could not have happened. You know what? Maybe this is justice for all concerned. Oh man. I guess if a game deserves to wind up in a tie, this is the one. Ryan push it down. Hauschka just pulls it. I'm just telling you, and we've watched this, Al. Every kick that Hauschka has made tonight, he has gone up and fooled around with the turf and felt uncomfortable. I don't know if he stuck his foot in the ground. That first field goal barely cleared. He kind of chunked that one a little bit. And maybe the happiest guy in the building right now is Chandler Catanzaro. Oh, my goodness. And Larry Fitzgerald watching. Peterson watching. Ball at the 20-yard line. So do you settle for the tie or do you air one out here? and hope for a pass interference penalty that would extend the game. 